Hey guys, this is Blavo1000, and lately I've been making a level for a competition I'm in, which is a top-down stealth exploration game. So, uh, down here I have the big robot that's hunting you down, and then I have the player up top here, and then there are some walls to separate the two. So, um, I just, like, I created something cool that I thought I'd show while making this competition level. So, uh, most people know that tag sensors can see through walls. So if you have a regular tag sensor, then uh, w you can see the radius of the light. Um, let's say this light is the radius of the tag sensor. The tag ignores this wall and can see the player straight through it. Now, what I came up with is a method so that the the giant robot down here cannot see the player above. So that's like, you can see now that, um, and you can kind of see the shadow, which is the viewing. Uh, can't see me right now, but then if I peek out of cover, he sees me, starts shooting, but I can duck straight back into cover to avoid him. So, um... And there's a little one second delay that I deliberately put on him uh, so that it acts like he's still tracking your movements. But he can't see me back here if I peek out. He sees me straight away, so I gotta get back into cover again. And I can go back out here and get out of his viewing. I can trigger his viewing and then run straight back in. So uh, let me go ahead and go through how I did this. So, um, you can ignore all of this stuff, this is just for the level, like all these decoration mounts, same up here, but, um, so over here is how it works. So, um, actually let me just undo one more time so I have it back to its neutral state. So, um, how I did it was, um, I basically made a... I basically made a tracking laser going straight towards um, the player. So uh, on each of these microchips are a bunch of sensors. And these sensors detect two things, the player and the wall. So like here, this is the closest range sensor. So um, that's for the player and then that's for the wall. They're both the exact same thing. Um, but they're just detecting two things. So that's the closest range, and then if we go up here, this is mid-range, and you can see it's a lot farther away. And then up here, it's a lot farther away. It's actually covering the player right now. So, this is basically a laser, because, um, if I'm basic, I'm basic. <laughs> it's a little hard to describe, but imagine it as a layer going from this robot to the player. Now, how lasers work is that when they hit a wall, they stop, and they don't go any further. So, um, I have it set up so that this is the beginning of the laser, so it's at the, ro the robot, and then this is the end of the laser, which is, like, somewhere over here. Like, it's past this guy. But for now, just imagine that's covering this guy. So, on each of these, I have it set up so that if one of these tags sees a wall, then it will disable the next one. Prevent... And then, like, let's say this one is disabled. Any, any tag past that one will be disabled also. Now let me go ahead and give you a better picture of this. So, you can see the walls right here. And if I grab and move it closer, you can see the laser moves closer to the robot. And then if I move it farther away, it moves farther away. And then if I move it out of the way, then he can just fully see the player. But if I put it in the way, it blocks the laser, preventing it from... preventing the robot from actually seeing the player. Uh... Now, uh, the only difficulty I've had with this, uh, it works really effectively as you see, like you can go through tight corners and stuff, but the only thing about it is that you need a bunch of tags for the wall, and you need to put it on every single corner possible, 
Now, um, here, I, I have them separated a little bit. There's like a bunch of little gaps in between them all. That is because I have all of these set um, at like a seven degree radius and they're like five digits apart. So you can see like I can make it bigger or smaller, but they're five digits apart. Uh, now, if it would be a lot more accurate if I changed the radius to a smaller radius, oops. Like if I had it to like one rate, like one degree, uh, it would be a lot more accurate. But that means I would also need a lot more tags on the objects I have. So I just have it set to seven because that's approximately how big the player is. Um, and yeah, that's that's really it. I just wanted to show you guys this because it's actually working really well so far. And I have to admit, I'm proud of my work. Um, because you can, like, hug a corner and then peek out, like, it's, it's very accurate, and I'm, and that's a screen glitch, but it's really accurate, and I'm, I'm proud of what I did, and, uh, this level will hopefully be published Sunday, it, I'm gonna plan on it being most definitely, most definitely published Sunday, so, like, I can walk out of its radius, sneak around, and then trigger them here. Like, I don't know, it's just really cool and I'm I'm proud of what I did. Um, so yeah, uh, I hope this helped you guys because I've played a lot of stealth games where, um, where they just use the sensors and like there's no wall cover anymore unless you're in a multiplayer game. Um, there's just no more wall cover and that kind of upsets me because that means you can't do stuff like this where you can see he saw me over here so then I can go over here and sneak around like stuff like that. Um, I want to, oh, that's a little bit of a glitch. That's because I don't have enough tags on the objects. But um, yeah, I, I wish we there was more like innovation other than platformers and shooters and stuff like that. Um, it would be cool to see like more stealth stuff like I'm doing. Um, for this competition. Uh, and I feel like the problem with that is just that it's, it's complicated work and it's really repetitious too, especially with the bugs going on. Now I'm just on a rant. I just wanted to show you guys that because it's a really cool technique. Um, and I like it. Uh, so yeah, uh, thanks for watching guys. I hope that helped you out. This is my beautiful sack boy face and I'll see you in a different video. Goodbye.